friends welcome back to my channel if you are coming back thank you for coming back if you are new hi i'm sandy and i basically just make videos about my life and i share stuff that i find interesting and so i hope you can stay and we can be friends and happy new year everyone we are finally in the new year it's january it's the beginning of the year we have plans we have resolutions and i hope in this video i can share with you some of the things that i learned from the previous year things that i wish i did in the previous year and things that i hope i can get to do in this year and so with that being said let's get right into the video and with me here i have some notes that i wrote down so i'm going to be looking down here just so i don't lose my train of thought and so the first one for me was time so in 2023 i struggled a bit with my time management and just to find my balance between my work and my personal life and for this year i hope i can be on top of things and just be in charge of the time and what i'm doing with my time and how i'm spending it and just try to not procrastinate as much because last year i was the queen of procrastination and i'm not proud of that because i spent so much time just pushing forward tasks that i could have done in a specific time into the next available day like I could do certain things on certain times, but because I was thinking, okay, I will do it next week or I'll do it tomorrow. And so for this year, my goal is to not procrastinate, just do, do the task when you have to. And for me, that was the biggest one, time, procrastination, and just managing it so for this year this is one of my biggest challenges for myself is to just manage my time more efficiently like the saying goes time is a fre frequency no currency of life currency yes so i don't want to waste time doing things that are not very productive i want to be intentional i want to spend quality time on quality things right and i hope you are doing the same for you this year we can challenge each other right let's hold each other accountable and the second point for me was to be intentional about people around me and the kind of people i let around me what i mean is you need to find people who pour into you people who bring out the best in you right you cannot be for everyone you cannot be everywhere you cannot be too available you need to be in a place where if you are around people they bring out the best in you you need to be around people who are not afraid to tell you the truth you need to be around people who see potential in what you can do and they cultivate that you need to find people who want to teach you something people who want to teach you about uh, wealth creation right people who want to teach you about a life skill that you can use to your advantage you need to find those people because there are so many people like that around us but the problem is we are not looking at them more often than not we we want to make um, people who we can learn from the enemy it's like oh they don't want to help me no no actually people want to help us if we reach out to them and you're asking can you teach me something can you recommend this and that more often than not people want to help if we are sincere in the way we are approaching them and so for me in 2023 i learned that you need to just find people 
you can learn from people who can open doors for you into the next stage of your life people who challenge you to to think in a different way and so i hope for this year i can lean more into that and just step out of the the comfort of being comfortable where you are and just going out and just meeting people talking more often and learning from people because i believe all of us have the, the capacity to be the best of ourselves when we surround ourselves with people who impact us in a positive way and for me personally this year i'm challenging myself to just step up and step into this stage of my life where i'm in charge of my time i am smashing goals and i'm learning and this brings me to the third point something i learned from 2023 was the fact that there are so many resources out there that we can utilize to our own advantage there are so many ways to learn things there are so many free websites that offer amazing life skills that you can just spend a month on a week and learn something that's going to add some value to something you're already doing it could be something you've never even thought of doing and there are so many resources out there but the thing is we need to spend time to research to reach out to people brings me back to the second point find those people because some of those people they've been in these spaces and they can guide you right and so you need to just open up your mind and don't be afraid reach out ask for resources and people will recommend stuff you will actually learn much more from people who've been to a place where you want to go right and so this is my my challenge for this year is just to tap more into these different things and just spread myself as wide as i can and just go for it right and so i'm going to link some of the websites in the description box maybe you can browse through and hopefully you find something that interests you and this brings me to the fourth point of some of the things that i learned in 2023 and things that i wish i can do in 2024 the last one is pour into yourself right in as much as you are in a space where everyone around you is pouring into you in a positive way it's it's all up to you to pour into yourself more so find something that grounds you right sometimes life can be a bit here and there but you need something that's grounding you cannot be everywhere you cannot be here and there you need to be somewhere and for me personally last year what worked for me was my me time so you need to be able to have your you time where you can reflect on life where you can plan and where you can you know just be with yourself listen to your thoughts and be with your thoughts it's very important because sometimes life is so busy that we are everywhere and then we lose our we lose ourselves in that um, hustle and bustle of life and so it's important for all of us to just find time to be by yourself pour into you read a book uh, drink some tea watch your favorite show listen to a podcast about something you know and i can guarantee you for me in 2023 i found out that the more i poured into myself by learning something or you know doing something that i love 
you actually become a better version of yourself and you become the best version of yourself because there is so much in you that you can give to other people so you can give when you have something you cannot give from nothing so for 2024 i would just like for all of us to invest more time more love into ourselves more reading because i believe there is some amazing books that we can read and this is also a challenge for me in the recent past i have been reading less and when i was a bit younger i used to read all the time i read so many books and for me in 2024 i want to challenge myself to just read as much as i can and just find as much information everywhere there's so many free resources on youtube if you can if you can watch this video on your phone you can learn anything on your phone right and so for this year uh, i want to challenge all of us to just invest in ourselves you know pour into ourselves and we can be the best of ourselves and the last point for me in 2023 that stood out to me was kindness right so we most often underestimate the power of kindness right but for me in 2023 i found out that kindness is such a powerful tool that we can use all the time remember life is not the same for everyone and people are going through challenges on a daily basis people are struggling with so much and if we can only be and we can only be a little bit kinder to one another be it online be it in real life it will be the best decision we can ever make for ourselves for the people around us i found out that um you don't need to be mean don't lose who you are just because you are in a certain place because for some people maybe they grew up in a place where they didn't know what love was what kindness is and if you happen to be in that place maybe god placed you in that place for a reason right maybe he wants you to show people what kindness is because they've never been shown kindness and so in 2023 i challenged myself to just meet all forms of adversity with kindness you know kill him with kindness that was my mantra it's like if somebody's doing something unkind towards me i would just turn the other cheek and just be kind i found out it actually takes the power away from people when they want a reaction from you and you don't give a reaction you kill them with kindness and it makes them think and they introspect and then they come back and they want a conversation and what i hope to do this year is to just move forward in this way of love of forgiveness of uh, more kindness because i think we all need a little bit of kindness one way or the other life is too too hard to just go about being unkind and so i hope for this year we can all just be the best of ourselves and we can smash 2024 and we can do amazing things we can read more books connect with people and just reach out to one another lend a helping hand here and there and just be kind right so that's it for me and i hope to read some of your resolutions and i hope we can be friends and we can learn from each other this year as well and i wish you nothing but the best thank you for watching this video and 
let me know what some of your uh, plans for this year are and some of the things you learned from the previous year and don't forget to like leave me a comment and i'll see you in the next video bye bye wait before i go i forgot to share with you guys i recently got this book yesterday it's called the diary of a ceo i've been hunting for this book like crazy and i found this book yesterday in the bookstore it costs 23 euros 95 cents i'm going to read it this week and let me know some of the amazing books that you guys are reading this year right let's make this a thing let's read a book and drop it in the comments when we are done i'm gonna do the same i'm going to try and find some other books that i'm hunting for this year and i hope we can all be reading together so thank you for watching again bye bye